stay poetic. Thank you guys for stopping by for lifestyle videos, product reviews, and videos on spirituality. Uh, before we get started, please subscribe, hit the bell notifications, and like, comment, and do all that jazz. So today is a Bath and Body Works unboxing. Um, I think it's for the fragrance sale that just went on. I'm not too sure. Um, so let's just open it up and let's see. I got my handy dandy scissors here. So let's chop, chop, chop away. Let me hide my address and stuff so you guys can't see that. That's not fun. Ooh, she hard to get open, eh? She makes you work for it. Oh, you know she's right there. Signature plaid, Kate's Playhouse, Bath and Body Works, simple. She tell me where it's from. In case you don't know. Ooh. So I'm gonna jump right in here. There's four fragrance mist in the box. First one is Dahlia, and it looks like this. It's gold packaging. It says Dahlia by Bath and Body Works. It's very pretty. Flowers on the side of it. All the way around. Very nice bottle. Packaging is actually really cute. It's look really good on your dresser, your vanity table, or in your bathroom. Uh, I've never smelled this scent before. I know it's one of their newer ones that they just come out with, like, for part of the fall collection. So let's give it a sniff and see what it does. I'm not really a fan of floral scents. I'm more like a woodsy vanilla type thing. Um, but we'll see. Let the alcohol just... off a bit. It smells good. It doesn't smell bad. It smells like a warm pretty floral. <laughs> like like it it doesn't smell like a body spray. It actually smells like a perfume. Like, it's very florally, definitely, but it, it takes, like, a back seat. It's not, like, in your face or, like, old lady florally, you know what I mean? No offense to old ladies or older women, but you know what I mean by that. Yeah, it's nice. I would wear it. I'm kind of picky. Um, yeah, smells good. Uh, if I had to compare it to something, I'd say I have a Rihanna perfume. I used to have the body spray, now I have the perfume. It was her first one that she came out with. I think it's called Rihanna Rebel Fur, and it's like supposed to look like an upside down heel, and it has the black and the gold stripes and so on. Really good perfume, one of my favorites. That's like a compliment getter, and you can wear it year-round. So that one, um, I think this one kind of smells like this, so that might be a dupe alert. I'll let you guys know. So next up is a favorite, especially for this Christmas season, and this is Vanilla Bean Noel. Now if you were paying attention, you would realize that I just said that I was a vanilla scented, you know. That's one of my favorites. Vanilla scented everything. If it's warm, it's gourmand, it's vanilla, then I want it or I have it. Um, so funny story about vanilla bean Noel. The first time I ever smelled it, um, I was in high school. It was like my first year of high school. And I remember one of my teachers, she had the 
cream on her desk and she was like oh my gosh you guys gotta smell it it's my favorite bath and body works scent of all time and so when i wasn't really into bath and body works so things like that at that time but like i smelled it and i was like oh yeah it smells like vanilla and really Christmassy. it's good and so on and then i remember i don't know how long after that but i was at bath and body works and i ended up buying like the lotion of this the big bottle of the lotion um they didn't have the body cream scent it was just like the lotions that are like in the same things as the original body washes so i bought that and i used it and i loved it and so on but i never had the fine fragrance mist and I know a lot of people have been saying that they've changed the formula a bit now and um, that they've added caramel in it. So I'm kind of um, excited to see what this one smells like, if I'll like it or not. I don't know why I just shook that. <laughs> it's not like some, a drink or something. I don't know. That's weird. Or a hairspray. Like, I don't know why I did that. Oh, yeah. First of all, <laughs> vanilla just makes me happy. <laughs> vanilla scents, warm scents, gourmet scents. I'm like, yeah. Well, this smells good. Um, very alcoholy at first, though, I will say. You kind of have to wait even longer for this one to wear off. Um... I definitely smell vanilla, but like a Christmassy vanilla. Um, it is very pretty and gourmand. And like a sugar cookie note. It smells good. The caramel is not heavy. They've, they've added just a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. A little bit on the end there, but it's nice. It smells good. Can't wait to use that. We're coming up on December, so that'll be perfect. So this next one is a fan favorite. I think everybody loves this. I think it's probably tried and true. And this is Twisted Peppermint. Same deal as Vanilla Bean Noel. I've had the lotion a bunch of times, but I've never had the fine fragrance mist of this particular scent. And the packaging is really cute. Really cute. When it's pink, pink and silver. Pink, pink like my East Coast lifestyle sweater here. You know what I'm saying? Gotta represent the hood, you know? It was Scotia. And yeah, this collection is really cute, as you can see. It looks really cute together. So let's see how I like this one. I love peppermint. Peppermint smells good. I think that's like a general scent. Also, too, if you're looking to buy people Christmas presents, like scents like these are very good because most people won't find them offensive. Like everyone smelled vanilla. Everyone um, smelled peppermint. Most people find peppermint as a really relaxing scent, so that's a good one. Ooh! Right off the bat. Mm. That smells good. So, this literally smells like every candy cane you've ever had. And 98% of the toothpaste on the market. It smells good, though. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. You'll literally smell like a candy cane. <laughs> Might get eaten up. Who knows? And this last one is part of the Bath and Body Works. Um, I want to say they're retired fragrances, but... They do come out with it in different packaging and with different floor sets. So, I personally never had it, but I hear good things about it. And that one is Forever Red. 
I will say I have seen the old packaging and this packaging is really cute. You can see it's kind of textured. <laughs> Let me not do that. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of textured here on the bottom, which is cute. It's red, gold writing. It just says Bath and Body Works for her head. Um oh, I got papers. Ooh, wait, I will say it has a nice gold sprayer. The um Christmas collection has the um, silver top sprayers but this one much like the Dahlia has a gold sprayer which is cute I'm gonna my a bit oh wait wait okay it smells good it's not like offensive to me right off the bat um without looking at the notes it smells warm kind of smell like red berries or something like that you know what it smells like Beyonce's first perfume that she came out with but better because even though I love Beyonce I wasn't a fan of her first perfume like I bought it I wanted to love it wanted to love it and I didn't they love it but um this smells like that but kind of better so i want to read the notes in forever red they have them okay so that's what i was smelling so the notes on this are furry pomegranate red peony rich vanilla rum and oak wood so i don't know if you guys can see that, I'm sure it's backwards, but it smells good. Um, I wear this like a warm, or not a warm, <laughs> well, a cold um, winter night, a night if you're going out somewhere nice, or really you get away with it anytime like it won't be offensive to you but sometimes I'd probably wear it I don't know if I said that with the twisted peppermint and so on this could be an everyday scent especially around Christmas vanilla bean noel that could be an everyday scent and Dahlia smells just like a pretty perfume so that could also be an everyday scent all year round it's probably very good in the springtime though spring and summer or like a nice like dinner I see that because it does smell like an expensive perfume I didn't read any of the notes I'm gonna just quickly read off the notes because I've already told you guys what I think I smell but let me just read it because I'm a rambler and I like to ramble and you guys like to watch rambling so vanilla bean noel um the notes in it were fresh vanilla bean sugar cookie warm caramel and whipped snow kiss mask. The notes in twisted peppermint is cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, and fresh balsam. Oh, I didn't expect balsam in there. That's cool. Can you see? I don't know if it's focusing. Um, the notes in Dahlia. That's a nice name, Dahlia. She sounds like a Sylvan Rail, Miss Dahlia. Um, is Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. I like Tonka Bean scents. So, again, my name is Jindera. Um, you're watching J Poetic. Um, this is where I'm going to have lots of lifestyle videos, product reviews of all kinds. Bath and Body Works, makeup, um, different teas, health food stuff, whatever, whatever. 
hats, clothes, I don't know, Amazon orders, whatever. Everything, body care, all that in between, as well as spiritual videos. So we'll see what trouble we can get up into. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, my name is not Patty LaBelle, but you should hit that bell. Did you hit it? Did you hit it? Did you hit it? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. 15 minutes.